Hey everyone, welcome back to my latest trapping video. Today is a super special video because I'll be taking a Penta Rally on my mini trap with only 22 million troops. Yes, I only have 22 million troops on this account. Around a 4 million frontline, close to 5 million frontline. Not something I would... Uh, tell you to normally do, but today we'll be taking it anyways. Uh, I have a bunch of leaders already. That will be a separate video because that was a whole other thing. But this one is actually from the KW family, which isn't related to that. So, anyway, so they're gonna be going in for a uh, Penta rally here. I'm popping a 50. I might have should have popped a 70, but anyways, there's <laughs> five marches walking towards me, all from people with 150 plus castle stars, uh, a couple maxed accounts as well. Uh, there is three infantry marches that I have seen so far and one range one which is the one I'll be keeping an eye on for this I do put my war gear on pretty late here again this is a different family I know they haven't seen my war gear yet uh, they do have my scout though so I don't know why I was waiting so long to put on my war gear not like they're gonna cancel a penta rally uh, when they see I only have 22 million troops but anyway so yeah I'm keeping a good eye on that range it is the last rally to come in which was perfect for this i was able to counter three of the infantry ones uh not really counter the uh mix one but i was able to get my swap off right at the last second before the range one came in which hit me right now as you can see i did not burn at all from that i did obviously drop a little bit of might because again there was five rallies coming towards me you can see that one is walking back right now but it did not do enough damage to burn me so it was totally fine so you can see all the marches here the one that did the most was the Mix Rally, did 1.66. All the rest did around 1 million damage. Uh, I'm just going to swap out on my War Gear there. Not, let, not that no one saw it at this point anyways, but yeah, I got a ton of messages after this rally too. Because everyone in the kingdom was like, oh my god, crazy. Because again, I'm not a huge account. Uh, anyone who has my scout will even know that's even more crazy, but a lot of them thought I was just had a lot of troops, but that's not the case at all. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think it was 22 million troops. Um, but we'll take a look at the reports here after this. Uh, take a look at the damage as well. So, um, this is the one that actually walked back, the only one I did not cap. It was a uh, max account, mix account, and I think I had 18 million troops when it hit me, so... Uh, yeah, so everyone's like, nice, thick, oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, I, I did not have a lot of troops for this rally. The only reason I'm able to do this is because the stats on this account are insane. Um, yeah, he's <laughs> this guy's saying impossible that you only had 22 million troops. So actually, technically I only had 18 million, and I think I ended up with 15. The, the most crazy part of this is after I capped all those rallies and they know how many troops I have, they did not go for a second round. <laughs> like, I had, like, 15 million troops after this. They have probably, and I think they mostly use bunnies and everything, so they all had their leaders back, but they're like, no, let's not go for a second round, even though he only has 15 million troops left. Uh, here's Chappie here. You can see Max account. Uh, did walk back on that mix. I took it in range or cab wedge for this one, so... Um, did okay. I don't know if it would have been better to go range, but again, I wasn't really trying to counter the mix one. I was really trying to counter the blasts because they have the potential to do the most damage. The mix attacks, they really don't do much damage against this account, so uh, it didn't matter if I was in range, cab, or in for this one. Uh, it wasn't good. It wasn't going to be burning me at all, so it worked out well there. And then this guy changed his name instantly after the rally. I'm not sure why. Uh, I never found out who this guy was. Uh, he said infantry had quite a bit of tier 5 in there. Uh, good heroes and familiars, so probably 150 castle stars plus. But I, I literally had no, have no idea who that guy is because I couldn't find him after that. And I didn't get it on video before the, the leads. And then there's this guy, another Titan, not a max account, but another Titan, did 1.2. This was another infantry, almost 1.4 mil in that uh, blast. You can see he does have 11k hero on that as well. Uh, then Marquis here, let's take a look. 145 castle stars, 400 artifacts. Uh, this was, this was rain, wait, this was cab, actually, sorry, this was a cab blast, um, that's why I did a little bit more, but not too much, honestly, 1.8 mil, not too bad, cab on cab, and then, yeah, the other one was that, anyways, let's go back in the game, I'll show you my stats and all that as well. Hey, so we are back on the game. So we're going to go over the reports quickly. I'll show you my stats and all that, just so you can kind of see what I was taking everything with. 
Uh, where was it? It was this one here. Yeah, okay, this one here. There was actually a rally party right before that from SGU and NK and LF and all that. Um, again, I will be posting that one later, but that was kind of separate to this one, but it literally happened right before this. So I didn't want to put it in the same video, but I'll make two videos out of that because that's one whole thing because that's a family guild. And then this other family guild decided to migrate in and actually hit me as well. So that's two different family guilds that hit me pretty much on the same day. One was a Penta Rally, one was a Triple Rally, and they had a bunch of singles and doubles before that as well. But I'll post those ones later. So anyways, let's start through the first rally. Again, this is the first rally that hit. You can see my exact amount of troops. I had 22.7 mil. That is with reins. Uh, I think... How, how much reins did I get? Did I get full reins for this? Yeah, I got decent reins. So again, I only had like 21 mil troops. Uh, <laughs> I lied about how many troops I had in my front line, though. I had like zero troops in my front line. Um, so I had, what was it, like 4 mil? Yeah, I didn't even have a 5 mil front line. I had a 4 mil front line to start off. So taking a Penta Rally with a 4 million front line is uh, kind of crazy. Uh, so <laughs> again, you can see here actually the exact troop. I had 4.2 mil, 4.6, 3.7 is what I started with. You see my back line, that's my troops, and then the tier 5 range, which I asked for. Again, I asked for tier 5 range just for a little more damage. It does help out overall. Uh, but yeah. Five, five rallies into a 4.2 mil frontline is uh, a little scary to say the least. Thankfully, I pretty much countered every single rally other than the cab rally, which was the first one here. But again, it only did 1.1 to my frontline. Um, and uh, looks like he did 646 with his pack fives. Wasn't a lot of tier five in this one either, which was nice. And again, this guy, what was he? Uh... Yeah, he was uh, 145 castle stars, so decent account. Actually, he has a good mix stats too. He's got actually full tempered 12 mix in his uh, in his gear. Uh, he's actually got a little bit more stars than he did when he hit me, I think. So let's go in the next one. This one was K2W U Dan Dan. Let's see, 175 castle stars. So uh, a uh, top tier lead, max castle stars, not max artifact stars. Uh, this guy went infantry I'm pretty sure did 1.2 with a uh, 1.358 uh, million tier 5 infantry uh, at a single 11k hero and uh, did what was it like 422k to my front line and 778k with this pack 5 so a little bit more damage I would say from uh, this account again he had a lot more tier 5 though so it might not just be stats might be tier 5 as well and then this guy who changed his name again I don't know <laughs> Don't know how many castle stars this guy had. Uh, he was weaker than the 11k hero guy. Uh, might have had less tier 5 in his rally though. Yeah, 1.1. So 200k less tier 5. Uh, did 378k to my front, 647 to my, uh, my uh, or with his pack 5s to my back line at the time. You can see my uh, front line is getting a little bit low, only 2.6 mil in that front line right now. Uh, you can see his heroes and stuff, good pay to play heroes and all that. No 11k heroes, but. Again, this guy was probably 150 plus castle stars if I had to guess what he was. And then Chappie came in right after that. So Chappie, uh, yeah, I did not cap him, unfortunately. He did not do enough damage to uh, burn me or anything like that. 1.6, we're about 500k damage away from that. Uh, you saw Chappie already, he's, he's a max account. Uh, you saw his gear when I actually had it on there, but it was, yeah, it was full temper 12s. And then he used all the shield fams and all that. You can see what he sent. Uh, an okay amount. I wouldn't say a ton of tier 5, but uh, okay. That's like around a million tier 5 in there, so nothing insane or anything like that. Uh, since I had such a small front line when he hit me, 2.2 mil. Did get a little bit into my tier 4 a little bit, but it, it does actually somewhat uh, help me not burn because the tier 4 is not going to take as much damage as the tier 2, so that's one of the reasons I probably didn't burn on that with uh, only 18 million troops. You can see he does have 311k heroes, though, so so, yeah, strong guy. Chappie's pretty strong. Again, I wouldn't suggest trying to take a mix attack with that comp that I have right there with the <laughs> friggin' 2 mil front line. Yeah, it's not the comp to be taken. Uh, max, max account mix attacks, but it worked out in the end. And then the last guy came in. Uh, thankfully, I did get the counter off on this because... Uh, actually, I didn't really have much tier... How much cab did I have left at the end? Yeah, and this rally only hit 1.1. So uh, actually, uh, even if I didn't get the counter off, I wouldn't have taken a ton of tier two, 
ton of cab damage because uh, since I was in wedge, two of my squads probably would have got taken out. So I probably would have got into the infantry anyways at that point. Uh, would he have burned me? Probably not. I still had quite a bit of infantry left uh, to be able to cap him. But yeah, there was 1.35 uh, tier 5 in that rally. So quite a bit. And he does have a sneaky 11k hero hiding there. So he is a little bit of a titan there. Uh, how many castle stars did he have again? 150. So not quite a, uh, I would say, titan. But he's a top tier lead with 11k heroes in there and all that. Quite a bit of tier 5. So again, let's go take a look at the gear I took the rally in. Um, so you can see my actual gear stats on here. Um, I am running... This was basically the stuff I was running. Um, actually, did I have... Did I put the champ piece in here? I have to go look back and look at the video, but uh, sometimes I run the uh, the winter mitts or the champ, depending if I'm looking for more damage. Uh, usually, if I'm looking for more damage, I'll throw the champion light in there because it's just like I I want to cap the rally. That's kind of what I'll be doing. Um, you can see the stats on here: uh, 234 cal, 429 imp, 209 range, 159 army HP, 57.6 percent army attacks. There's a lot of attack in this set. Um, and again, I get good H, like infantry HP, range HP. Actually, cav HP might be the one. Where's my cav HP? I got no cav HP in this one. That, that's the one, only issue with the set. So, um, but uh, we actually saw the stats in there. But I'll, I'll go double check here. Uh, yeah, I'll do it this way. That way, I don't have to throw my warrior on. We can check the stats. Uh, I did have forts when this hit. This was actually the one good thing about. Uh, at the time, uh, my guild CC had forts. By the way, if you guys want to join CC, um, um, it's a war guild looking for fillers and stuff like that. So uh, let me know in the comments down below. Maybe I'll leave a, a recruitment officer for that. Again, I do some trapping in there and all that. So, But uh, they had the forts at the time, which really helped out. So shout out to my guild for the reinforcements because uh, uh, they were running Penta rallies and it's kind of scary to be uh, joining that. So let's take a look at stats. Is this the right gear? Let's double check. I know this is the gear I had on, so here we go. Uh, so actually, sometimes the talents are weird on here. Does it have the HP in here? Oh, perfect. It's actually the right, right one, so perfect. So this is the stats I had during the rally party, it looks like. Um, is there range stats in there? That's, going on here. That's right, okay. That's all right. Okay, perfect. So this is the stats that I had for the rally party here. It was 822, 658, uh, 639. So for that, I'm kind of running like a 424, but heavy inf it looks like. So um, so that was the stats there. You can see infantry defense, cav defense is at 327. Uh, infantry HP is 378, cav is 311. Again, these don't really matter much for my range because I didn't really take many hits in that. And then I'm running uh, 269 uh, army attack with 223 army defense and 478 army HP, which seems low. But um, again, I did have an attack boost on there, so that's even boosting that up more. I think so. What's going on here? I don't know why that feels low. I don't know. Anyways, it just seems lower than normal. I'm not sure why. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Anyways, you can see I do have full debuffs, 13% from the uh, the research and the uh, castle skin, uh, and then only 10% army attack debuffs, full counter, all that stuff. So again, that was the uh, stats I took that with. Uh, let's just double check here. Yeah, I can actually just go into Fury. Actually, no, sorry, I had forts, so those were higher. <laughs> so again, yeah, those were 25% higher. That, that's why I f felt that's low, because when I checked my stats after that, they were higher, but it's because I had the forts on. That's totally it, so. Anyway, so again, those were the stats I took that with. That was the uh, the results. It was, it went really well, honestly. It couldn't have gone any better uh, with that comp I had <laughs> running there, which again, 21 million troops is not something you want to take a rally party with normally. I would not take that on any of my other accounts. Um, usually you would want like, 50 million troops or something like that to take those rally parties but uh yeah that that worked out well again it's just because of the stats again if you ever want to take rally parties keep in mind the more troops you have the better so uh if you have tier 5 it's good too because uh again you can run like 
four mil of each of these tier four, you're gonna get more damage there. Keep in mind, if you're having problems capping rallies, just add more tier four uh, up until like four mil each. And after that, just add more tier five and then add more tier two. Um, I There's a kind of a dis diminishing return after four mil of each tier four. So that's why I'm saying four mil because if you do five mil, it's really, it's more of like an S curve where the damage goes up to like four mil of each and then kind of levels off. So it's better to add tier two and tier five at that point once you get to that point. So at least that's what we've kind of crowdsourced from trapping and stuff like that. So anyways, I do have a bigger comp right now because that that was a scary one to take the, the Penta Rally. I was like, if, if that went a little bit worse, it, it would have went pretty bad. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if you guys want to see some more trapping, let me know in the comments down below. Also, we have the, the code. So the code, the first code, I'm actually going to put it in the video today and tell you what it is. It's 90210. If you guys know what that is, you know what it is. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.